we are back at Pond Hawk. This is going to be our last walk. We're doing just the lakes. There's two lakes. One on the side of uh, Spanish River. On the other side of Spanish River, we'll go under the bridge, I'll show you. But to start with, we're going to hit the lake here behind the library. It'll wrap around by the condos I showed you in the first video of Pond Hawk. Around past the nature area. And over to the other side of Spanish River I just mentioned. We'll be back, hitting it on the block. Library, our ever famous point of reference for Pond Hawk. It's a nice, cool 93 today. <laughs> I swear. What I do for these videos, it's all good for us. I'll keep doing it. Here we go. We're going to hit it, we're going to move that speed up a little bit. Here we are. This is our choice. The choice has been made numerous times that we went there. This time, we're gonna continue around the lake. I'll be back over at the Pond Hawk Nature Preserve as I watch that lake go up and down as we've talked about on other treks. It's rained a lot in the last week. Flash flooding and things for the area has not yet produced the, the level to increase over there. Probably because of the heat, evaporation and such. We'll be uh, watching it as we go. This will be our home base as I do other walks and move on to the different parts of the story walk next. Enjoy the view. I gave it a quick stop here so I could show you guys this gully. It's a uh, overflow. You can see there's a little, it's all divoted down there and it's green at the base but a little bit browned around the edges. This is overflow. So when we get a lot of rain here, either from the lake or the ground, it'll come up out of the sand. Um, that's just kind of where it's at, all over the south into Florida here we have these ducks and levees and canals that they turn on and off the different water levels as things are happening. Hurricanes, rainstorms, floods, droughts. It's interesting, I didn't know there was one here on the back of Pond Hawk. Anyway, back to our walk.
There is the backside of water, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a round of applause. Backside of water. Okay. It's really just the back of the water. Hand over here to the right, you can see that's the path through Pond Huck we took. Come to the back. Got a little bit of nature here. Let's see if we can sneak in and observe. Lake to water ski on anybody who's familiar with some glass here. Well, ripple glass. You can see some utility items back here, as we saw a minute ago. This is kind of where they're hiding some of the plumbing, I think, to properly irrigate this area. Keep it pretty. Got a little bench here if you ever want to come and take a seat, have a little view. This is where the wind is, if you remember, it's kind of breezy back here, not this time of right. Nice little view here. And you'll see some more piping. Kind of takes from the beauty, but I'm wondering if they're going to come lay it down on the ground. Has, I don't know how long it's been here. Whatever it's doing, it's keeping this area, this lake going. I don't know how it's connected to the back of Pond Hawk, but if anybody's familiar, just throw it in the comments. That'd be great. Looking for some uh, additional information on Pond Hawk. I'm still fairly new to this park, as you've seen all my little videos. So I'd definitely be interested if anybody has any additional information. As you see, we're approaching the library. Got a little uh, back into the library here. Probably some functions. Maybe weddings. Beautiful. how much this overflow has to do with the emptiness in the back of Pond Hawk. We'll find that out when, when it finally rains. Excited. Okay, so here we're at the start of the Pond Hawk story walk again, just for matter of reference. And we're gonna go and we're gonna walk this path to the other side of Spanish River. There's a there's a bigger lake over there. There's also a park. Um, any of you from the Boca area, you might have played softball or your kids might have played softball there. Big wide open space. We're going to go check it out. Um, after I get into this bridge, I'll let you be. I see some wild water.
Take note, it's a pretty, pretty walk, but womp, womp, womp. Maybe I can find an old one that actually used to say <laughs> something very strange. Um, it said something to the tune of, please don't molest the alligators. I think that's what it said. I'll find it. And up here we got the start of the uh, baseball field. I'll show you a little hand here. It's a big, 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 big park here. Lots of fields. Baseball, softball fields. It goes all the way back there. See all the cars getting ready for our big Saturday morning. People walking the lake. It's early before it's hot. We got some of our Florida pests here. Look how big this iguana is. Not trying to be sick, but anybody that's not familiar, these guys are considered rats here. They're actually something that you're permitted to hunt and elim you know, eliminate because they're not from here. So, he'll get up and run if I go closer. They can actually stand up. I'm not going to bother them. They're going to actually, they can actually stand up on their back legs. Give them this space here. And run at you. Looks kind of like a raptor. When they're up and at it, I'll put a picture on the left and a picture on the right. And I'll show you one of those running compared to a raptor. It's kind of scary when you see them doing it. All right. Coming in for a small landing. Show you a little exercise space here. I suggest waiting until <laughs> until the winter. It's not so hot, but nice little setup here. I'm not quite sure what you do with these. <laughs> but you got a bike. Different items to give you some resistance, I guess. I don't see any weights on yeah, They're just resistance. But yeah. Here, work out. Look at this. Take a jog around the lake. And exercise. Notice I'm exercising. I'm just going to continue the walk around the lake part. We've made it across the lake. 
take another panorama view up here around the corner. Give you guys a good view. This will be the last pan view of the lake. That's where I'm most of the others. Well, alrighty then, we are done. Oh, he's there, I don't know if you see him in the grass. Teeny tiny little guy. I stepped my shadow in front of, I stepped my shadow in front of him. Anyway, it's a little green one. That one was not a pest. The tiny ones are native. The big, ugly, green, brown, huge ones that look like they could eat you, those are not homegrown, so to speak. Back to our bridge. Thank you all. Thank you. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, follow the Floyds. It's just beginning. Future episodes will include trips to theme parks, family fun, all kinds of things. So please join. Give us a like. Take care, everybody.